All right, so in this video, I want to quickly go over margins, columns, and ruler guides. All right, so we begin with columns. And if I was going to take this and make it a two column document, I can see that if I have preview selected, that I can see it perfectly. Um, the gutter width is going to be the length between the two columns. So we can start to move it this way. Real quickly, when we look at the margins, the margins is the space around everything. Now, we can see um, that if I wanted to change the relationship and I wanted to create a large margin at the top, then I'd have to break this link and I could you know, make just a larger margin on the top. All right, so I hit OK, and there we have it. All right. So we also have our rulers and guides become a really wonderful thing when we're working with InDesign. So we have our rulers turned on um, and my, so I can see is we can come on up and we can just start pulling out guides. So I could say, okay, I want my header to line up right here and I can come out right over here. I can maybe, you know, actually in a way I don't even need one this side because I already have my columns, which are going to, guide this, right? But maybe I'll say, oh, I want this picture to line up right here. All right, so they're just a great way to start to find images and to place images and text in. Now, let's come on in. All of this stuff about our guides is all under view. So we can come to view and we come to um, grids and guides and we can say hide guides, okay? We can also come back in and show our guides so we want to say show guides, all right? Now, if we want to move them, we just click on them. They're just like objects on our page and we can move them to where we want them to be. So it's very easy to readjust and move things around. Another feature that we have under view is we can come on into our grids and our guides and we can um, snap two guides. We can snap two guides, all right? Now what that means and you'll feel it and it's slight, you might like it, you might turn it off. What this means, if I take my rectangle tool and I decide, oh, you know, I'm gonna draw this shape up in here, you'll find that it very easily snaps uh, to the guide. Uh, and as you work, start working on a larger project, you'll really, hold on, let me just, I gotta get this one up on the top. You'll really start to feel it. So I can come on up into here, Again, coming up above is always a nice thing. You have so much on your control panel. So there we have it now. So you can see it snaps into place to a certain degree. So it makes it much easier to work with. All right, so let's say that we're working and we want to start changing things around now. But before I say anything else, these are really guides. Okay, the margins, the columns, they're guides for you how you're going to lay your document out. But if I want to change it as I'm working, I can come on into File, and I can come in. We have Documents set up, and we can come in right in here, and we can start changing things around a little bit. Um, in a later video, I'll go over the bleed and the slug. Um, but you know, so if we were to come on in here and we were to say we could change the overall size. And we can also come on into here and come to a document presets, define. We can come on in um, to edit and we can start working with the number of columns uh, that we have. So again, lots of ways to change things around and um, it's an overview of columns, margins, and guides. Thanks so much.